Hey everybody, um, welcome to the Mark Parham Podcast. You can uh, follow me on Rumble by typing in Mark Parham. Also, you can follow me on Spotify by typing in Mark Parham Podcast. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of um, Twitter posts by uh, Laura Loomer. She's, uh, she's popular online. She's a huge Trump supporter. And um, you know, I think some of her uh, reports and stuff on... Um, What's going on at the border and um, what's going on in uh, Central America are phenomenal. I mean, she's been putting out a lot of um, content on uh, Twitter. Now it's X. I think she's been doing a great job. And so I have a question. Should Donald Trump, should Donald Trump, uh, you know, give her a role in the Trump administration? Like, you know, make her press secretary. Should Donald Trump actually give her a role within the Trump administration? And, uh, in my opinion, I think it would be a smart move. And the reason why I say that is because she's somebody where she uh, she knows the Internet as far as, you know, she's a person that knows how to get her message out. She's very, uh, you know, uh, popular, you know, with uh, Republicans in the, you know, in the media. And then on top of that, um, she's just somebody who she's 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 like an attack dog. I mean, one thing I'll say about her is uh, she stands up for herself and uh, she's not afraid to take on the liberals. And uh, I think I remember back in the days when I saw a clip of her, I think uh, she uh, saw a clip of her. Uh, I think she handcuffed herself to the uh, one of the Twitter headquarters or something like that. And, uh, you know, she's she's somebody that Donald Trump should give her a position doing something in that administration. I mean, I know everybody's been talking about, oh, we'll make uh, Vivek uh, vice president or bring on Tim Scott and all these people. But as far as somebody that could, you know, um, you know, uh, somebody that knows social media, somebody that would inspire a lot of uh, other young people to you know, follow behind whatever the Republicans are trying to do, they need to uh, really consider bringing her on board and um she's been you know posting up a lot of uh posts about donald trump she's a huge supporter of donald trump and she's not one of these folks that sort of wishy-washy sometimes i mean online i've seen a lot of republicans they support they were supporting uh, ron DeSantis, and then all of a sudden when ron DeSantis faded away then it's just like oh well let's join trump i mean she's been a trump supporter for i mean basically since day one And, uh, you know, I think she would be very good, you know, doing something with social media or something with the press. And uh, I think she would do an amazing job. And then speaking of, uh, you know, Donald Trump, right now Donald Trump is uh, at the border. And he's talking about the University of Georgia student and that whole situation. And it's amazing because... You know, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, if it's somebody, you know, a black person that dies or somebody that fits the media narrative, they're on the scene. And okay, that's good. But when you have this white girl from Georgia, Democrats are almost like afraid to say her name. And I think they don't want to say her name is uh, because, you know, they're sort of worried about immigration and it'll make them look bad on immigration. But you know, people are waking up to the propaganda. People are seeing that, you know, with this white girl in Georgia, nobody's really saying anything. I mean, if you, I've seen more posts on Twitter about this girl than, you know, hearing about her on the news. And uh, I'm, like I said in another podcast I made, I'm so proud of the people in Georgia calling this uh, mayor out. The mayor of that town, that uh, I think it's Athens, Georgia, where the incident happened. I mean, people have been you know, going, you know, protesting and putting up stuff on television. Well, well, I wouldn't say necessary protesting, like, you know, going out in the streets and holding up signs. But when he was trying to speak, they were basically calling him liar and all this other stuff. And I'm glad they did because, uh, you know, to have that guy sit up there and act like, oh, well, this wasn't my fault. That's insane. And if you look at a lot of these uh, situations with these illegal immigrants, a lot of these, uh, bad stories don't even have to happen if we would secure our border. Not saying that, you know, crime doesn't happen, but 
we're having people come all the way from different countries that are doing all sorts of stuff and being released. And I, I've never seen anything like it. And like I said, uh, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, are I hold them responsible for a lot of this uh, crime that's happening with these illegal immigrants. Because they almost treat them with kid gloves. I mean, I think this guy, like I said uh, in a other po uh, uh, previous podcast, he had a uh, he got arrested for something in the past, and they, I think they let him go, or he got a, a ticket or a fine, something like that. But it was a slap on the wrist, and uh, you know, look at what he did now. And so again, I'm happy that uh, Donald Trump is campaigning. I hope he campaigns on uh, this whole border issue. I think he'll win a lot of votes this way, and uh, also it's a good way to keep uh, that uh, girl's name out in the press, out in the media. Because we can't uh, allow, you know, people to feel unsafe taking a walk or taking a jog and stuff like that. I mean, I think that's a, a lot of people who are from that college, they go out there and, and jog and things like that. We don't, we don't want to have a situation where illegal immigrants are changing our way of life. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's so sad because you think about the, the story. The girl was, what, 22 years old, and life was, she had a whole life uh, ahead of her, and, you know, it's, again, it, it's heartbreaking when you think about it. And if it were, uh, let's just say, uh, anybody else, if somebody who fit the description, you know, as far as, you know, somebody they could use to paint a media narrative, they would uh, be all over the story. It's it's amazing because, you know, we have uh, a country where the, the the rule of law is like, I don't even know what's happening. I, I, seriously, it's like we're just letting people do what they want to do if you're an illegal immigrant. You can get free housing. You can commit crime almost. You can, you know, just get a slap on the wrist if you do a crime. And we don't even treat the folks who are citizens, of you know, American citizens this way. I mean, you think about it, we're the only country where we're, you can have food, clothing, shelter, commit a crime, and, you know, be treated with kid gloves. You go, Matt, can you imagine if this man um, committed this crime in China or something? He'd face capital punishment. And, yeah, it, it's, again, I'm, I'm rambling, but it, it's, it's, so, it's so sad. Uh, a lot of these situations can be prevented, but we just have uh, bad leadership. And uh, wasn't Kamala Harris the person who was supposed to be handling uh, the situation at the border? You know, you don't see her doing anything. So, uh, you know, we have to uh, do something to at least protect American citizens. And, and somebody who has a, a whole life ahead of them, somebody who's going to college, doing the right thing, shouldn't even have to worry about, you know, somebody from a foreign country coming over here and then committing a crime like that to her and I don't the, the details of the crime I don't even want to get into but you know it's it's, it's horrible it's horrible after the day and uh you know more of these situations going to happen until we close the border and I'm not saying that the border is going to prevent all crime but again it'll bring some of the crime down it'll bring some of the you know low lives the, the low lives that are coming across the border, they can stay in their country. I mean, we're not getting the people crossing the border. It's not like we're getting PhD students. Like we're getting folks where, you know, some of them are on their last leg and they're willing to do anything to survive. And so we don't want to just get any random person. It's one thing to have legal immigration. If you sit up, do what you're supposed to do, file the laws, legal immigration, that's one thing. I can't knock somebody for trying to come here legally. But people that just think, well, I'm going to cut in line and do what I want to do. No, we can't. We can't have that in America. And some of these uh, Hollywood celebs that are into all this, oh, well, we have to help everybody. Well, tell them to let uh, illegal immigrants live in their mansions. You go to California in these places, they have gates and security fences and all sorts of stuff. But then go on, go on TV and tell you that you have to be uh, open to uh, bringing everybody over here. It's ridiculous. People like Eric Adams in New York, how many of his rich friends will use their mansions in the Hamptons to host 
uh, families that have come here from Venezuela or Mexico, please. So, you know, they say one thing, but they, they, they do another. But it's just so sad what's happened to this uh, this girl in Georgia. It's, 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 it's very, very, very sad. And it should never happen again. It shouldn't happen to anybody, especially somebody. I mean, again, it shouldn't happen to anybody. I'm not even going to go in, in, in depth, but it's just it's just very tragic. Somebody that's trying to start out their life, somebody who's trying to do the right thing. I think she was a member of uh, you know, a church organization down there. And for something like this to happen, it's it's... It's 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 very uh heartbreaking. Okay, yeah, her name is uh Lakin Riley. It, it it's very heartbreaking, especially somebody that's trying to just take a, a a regular jog. Like we're not talking about somebody who's you know out there trying to sell drugs or something like that. We're talking about a 22 year old girl, 22 year old woman who's out there doing the right thing, just wants to take a jog keep keep up you know keep her health up and stuff like that and you know you have a guy who's just an animal in my opinion so again if you want to uh, follow my podcast you can follow me on rumble uh, just type in mark parham on rumble and then also if you want to follow me on spotify go to spotify and type in mark parham podcast thank you